there's a lot of deconstruction taking place in the body, yeah. but I don't think there's a lot of healthy deconstruction taking yeah. place in the Bible. Oh, it's a lot of, um, it gives the vibe of things have been done wrong. I don't like how things have been done. I've been hurt. Um, this church did this, this pastor did that, this leader did that. Why do we do this? Whatever, whatever. And instead of saying, I'm, I'm having some issues with some things, or I'm having some questions. The Bible says there's safety in the multitude of wise counsel. A lot of the deconstruction is taking place in isolation. Folk on Google, on the internet, looking down rabbit holes, looking stuff up, Mm -hmm. as opposed to having that community of believers where you can say, yo, I'm just going to be real with you. I'm feeling a way about this and this and that. Yeah. And having somebody that you can sit and reason together That's with. I don't saying. think I'm that somebody. deconstruction is a negative thing or a bad it's thing. Not. If you've been in faith for a while and you've walked out this journey, there have been times where even for myself, I've I've looked at things differently yeah, and said, too. why do we do this? Mm-hmm. Why are we doing this? Yeah. It hasn't been to the point where it's made me want to leave God by yeah. any means, mm-hmm. but I will not lie. It has made me want to consider leaving his, his church. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I at one point in time had this idea because I was in transitioning to, um, I don't want to say a dark place, but a concerned place mm-hmm. where I said, <clears throat> I have relationship with the Lord. We good. We communicate. We got history. Yeah. I really feel like I have to go to church mm-hmm. and I and yeah. and because my relationship is fortified with him I'm not about to go out here and start wowing yeah. I'm not about to go lose my mind mm-hmm. I'm just choosing not to fellowship with the saints on Sunday yeah because the saints on Sunday are doing some other stuff and I'm understand. like I'm good I have been in those places where I've considered bed, bedside Baptist. Only bedside because, Baptist. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> and so I don't think that the deconstruction within itself is a negative thing, although I feel like it has been presented mm-hmm. to the masses as a negative thing. I think yeah. any person that's evolving in their relationship should question things yeah. and should have that's questions. Cool. And so... I think that where it becomes problematic is when it's done in isolation Mm -hmm. and when it's done in isolation and you're being exposed to these things on these rabbit hole trails, Mm -hmm. now you're not going back and reasoning with anyone about the things that you've discovered. Yeah. And so, yeah. So I think that's where it starts to become a danger. And that's where we start seeing Mm -hmm this syncretism start to take place because even in the deconstruction, I've talked to other people who have went through that phase. They weren't questioning God. They were confirmed about their beliefs about yeah. Jesus, God, Trinity, none of the, 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 the issue wasn't with the Godhead. The issue was with the structure and the organization. Yeah. And if you're not talking through what you've researched now Mm -hmm. it's a dangerous place it is and i feel too like and also when you're looking with the wrong lens when you're looking from a place of offense Mm, when you've been offended and you're searching for answers it's different from you just being curious oh i just want to learn more about god and you're searching for answers versus you're offended and you're looking for answers. So then your lens is clouded. Mm, so by the event. you're looking for things to, to pull yes, you in. Yes. Versus things to keep you uh, near Christ because you, you're trying to, because of the hurt and the pain that you've gone through. And so I think that that too can be dangerous when you're trying to deconstruct because you've been hurt. Right. you've been hurt in the church versus you're wanting to really discover out of a pure heart more about God and, and mm-hmm. more about our practices and the history of the church and all of that type of thing. So I think it's a, because it's a lot of hurt. And like you said, people are doing it in isolation. It's a double whammy. 
Mm-hmm. Because then all mm-hmm. you got to do is find another hurt person on the internet to <laughs> to, <laughs> to agree. Come on, to, to agree speak with your you. language, and then you're yeah. going down a rabbit hole and picking picking up practices that God never intended for you to pick up at all, at all. And I think too, like one of the things that I've also noticed is that, and you know how scripture speaks about too much is given, much is required. And so to the point that I made earlier, when we first started this conversation, when you see those individuals who are popular, um, artists, Instagram worthy, Facebook worthy content creators, whoever, just anyone that has no, uh, just uh, spotlight, Mm -hmm. fame. When these people also say, yeah, it's okay to do this. Or if they start to share some of their own personal practices, yeah. but then you, they've also shared that they love the Lord and he heard their cry. Mm-hmm. It comes across as, well, if Holly, she, she got on Trendy. the prayer work shirt yeah. and, and she loved the Lord and she has a gospel album out, but mm-hmm. you know, I saw her have on a, a crystal and she said that, you know, mm-hmm. this crystal has helped her and she feels so at calm and so at peace. And, you know, she said, it's okay to burn sage. There's nothing wrong with, you know, Thank and you. here's the thing. Sage in its purest form is a purifier. Like yeah. it mm-hmm. literally is. It's good on your food too, but uh, <laughs> it's a purifier. Mm-hmm. So there is truth. There's always truth to the lie. Sometimes yeah. there is truth. It does purify, mm-hmm. but when it's used in an improper way, it, it doesn't have on. the authority to purify what you're going to need purified by the time yeah. you finish yeah. going down those rabbit holes. And so I think to the point that I was trying to make got a little sidetracked when you have these content creators and these people who are fluent, um, not only in the faith, but just in society. And then you see them as, as uh, share about the syncretism that they're even practicing and probably mm-hmm. from an innocent place, like not yeah. even thinking that they probably wouldn't even consider it syncretism. They probably mm-hmm. see no issues with it. It's nothing wrong with it, mm-hmm. but it goes back to that too much is given much is required. So now you've kind of, excuse me, solidified for someone else that it's okay and it's safe. 